to the W.W. Samuel Early College Class of 2020. Although the pomp and circumstance of this year's graduation have changed, our feelings and thoughts behind this wonderful occasion have not. You are earning both an associate's degree and a high school diploma. Extra special congratulations are in order. You've earned it. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I just wanted to come on here and tell you all how proud I am of each and every one of you and your accomplishments. And I wish you all the best of luck in whatever you choose to do in life. Congratulations, everyone. Hi, seniors. Congrats. You did it. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. It has been so much fun watching you guys grow over the past two years. You guys will always hold a special place in my heart as you guys are the last class I will teach. It was so much fun being your teacher and getting to know each of you more personally. I hope you guys enjoy Powell's class as much as I did. It has definitely been an interesting and entertaining journey and I already missed you all so much, but I'm so excited to see the great things you're going to accomplish in the future. Keep in touch. Congrats. Felicidades. Hi, Samuel Early College Seniors, Class of 2020. I'm just here to say how incredibly proud I am of you guys. You accomplished a lot. Um, this last part of the year has been insane never seen anything like it you have lost a lot of the things that you know normally people get to go to for their senior year and yet you just powered through your last semester last eight weeks grades were amazing we were so impressed and you guys have just done it and you have such a great future ahead of yourselves there's so much that you have still to do you're all going to be doing great things next year, going off to great places. You guys got so many scholarships. I am just super duper proud of you. And you guys know you are my first group of 11th and 12th graders. So I'm really, really, really going to miss you. And I just know that it's not gonna be the same at Eastfield without you. But of course you're gonna come back and visit and tell us all about your amazing successes. And I will be so excited to hear all the wonderful things you guys are doing. You guys have a wonderful summer and a great start to your next adventure. Hello and welcome to our gratitude ceremony for Samuel Early College High School class of 2020. Um, we are so excited to welcome you to this virtual event today. We're doing it a little bit differently this year um, as we are most things. And we are just so grateful to you all to take the time um, to be here with us in this moment and just take a minute to say thank you to everyone that we know has been kind of behind the scenes in this journey that our amazing graduates of the class of 2020 have been taking. They have accomplished six years of school and only four over the past four years. Um, they have sat in college classes with traditional college students and professors who maybe weren't looking to have high school students in their class um, and they have been so very successful. They have looked at anything that has um, come towards them and just said, I can do that. I can manage that. And then they did. Um, a perfect example of that is the end of the school year. Um, this is, you know, not the end that any of us would have predicted or wanted. <laughs> for um, our class of 2020 seniors. They have done their entire last quarter of college classes um, online. And probably they've been helping out at home and they've been working and they've been doing things remotely. Um, and they've done it. They've done it gracefully and they've done it without complaint. And they've just said, okay, this is what has to be done. I'm gonna do it. And so we are incredibly, incredibly proud of them. Um, this class will be unforgettable for many reasons, um, but one of, one of the largest just being their resilience, nothing, not even a global pandemic can stand in their way. Um, so we are just honored and grateful to have been part of their journey. And we want to take a moment just to say thank you to those of you that have been their support team, um, that have been in their corner 
and been there to help them when it got hard or when they were frustrated or when they wanted to give up. Um, we know that there were moms and dads and brothers and sisters and friends and cousins and uncles and everybody um, out there who was there in order to support our students and help them do something amazing. And so we are going to give the students just a couple of minutes to say thank you to the people that have been there and that have been supporting them um, throughout this crazy, difficult, amazing, um, and memorable journey that they are completing now. So thank you and here's from our students. Querida mamá, te quiero dar las gracias de estar a mi lado a todos momentos. Cuando necesitaba ayuda de cualquier cosa, ahí estuviste. Eres una mamá única porque siempre me ponías a mí y a mis hermanos primero. Amo cómo hiciste lo posible para vernos feliz y para seguir nuestros sueños. Eres mi motivo en por qué quiero ir a la universidad y la razón en por qué escogí ser una consejera. Gracias por todo y por ayudarme a llegar donde estoy ahorita. Sin ti nada de eso hubiera pasado. I would like to thank the ECHS staff for providing me the help I needed when I was struggling in my classes. I would also like to thank my parents for providing me everything from emotional support to financial support. But I would most likely like to thank myself for staying strong. Although I completely did destroy my mental health to try to be on top of my class and for trying to create the perfect student, I still pushed through and I still survive. I want to thank my inner self for controlling my for controlling my inner self and for not expressing my emotions. I want to thank my outer self for not showing it as well. I, anxiety and depression are hard to battle, especially when you're carrying your parents' dream. I am who I am today because of myself. I have pushed myself above and beyond my limits, making myself the woman I am today. All of my accomplishments were made for me because I am smart, I am strong, and I know I can handle everything. I'd like to thank Mrs. Smith for everything she does. I think it goes without saying that you've always put our best interests first. You've helped me become the student I am today, a student who doesn't run away from hard classes. You've helped me in more ways than one and I deeply appreciate it. Despite my anxiety and stubbornness, you managed to help me see the brighter side of things and assured me everything would turn out all right. I'll always remember the great advice you gave me. Thanks again for everything. I want to thank my backbone, my sister, and my best friend for life, to Malemi Barrera, for always being there for me. I want to thank you for all the rest of school and all the rides back home. I want to thank you for all the amazing memories and all the bumps on the roads our friendship has had. I want to thank you for always having your doors open of your house for me. We've had so many memories, fears, jokes, laughter, fights, and dreams. We've come a long way, and I'm glad it was by your side. I wish you the best in life and I know you will be an amazing interior designer because you are such a hard worker and you accomplish everything you set your mind into. Although our high school chapter ended, our friendship won't. Can't wait to see what life has in store for us. I love you and stay safe. I want to say thank you to someone who is a huge part of my life, a very special person that has motivated and helped me through these years. I always looked up to you because you have so much patience, and even though I'm very opposite from you, you are my role model. You never have excuses and showed me the importance of independence and responsibility. I am very thankful to have someone like you who has always been there for me, Ups and downs, you never stopped believing. It gave me strength to continue. Thank you for all the sacrifices you have made. 
Thank you for everything. With all my heart, thank you for everything you have done. I love you, Dad. I want to thank this certain person that has been through every moment these past years. She has been a special someone in my life because she has been supporting me in my ups and downs. This person has given me motivation to become successful, to keep dreaming big and never give up. She has been the only one that has stayed too thick and thin. The, the one that gives me the best advice, the one that knows what's best for me, the one that just wants to see me succeed. This person knows every little thing about me. I appreciate her so much and I wish her the best at everything she does. She made my high school experience unforgettable. She was the one that helped me with my assignments. She kept me motivated through this whole program. Thank you to my best friend, Ellie Bajena. The person I would like to, to thank would have to be my mom because she's she's been the one that has helped me out in the toughest times with my college classes when I needed the most. I really struggled my junior year at Eastfield, especially with my history class. But my mom had a customer that was a history teacher and she asked him if he wouldn't mind helping me out with a few assignments. The guy was very helpful. He helped me remember dates, events, people, and etc. He also showed me useful websites that are trusted and won't get the wrong information when I'm doing my homework. I would like to thank my parents, my mom for taking care of me for the 19 years of my life, my dad for providing for us, uh, as well as I would like to thank my friends for uh, being there for me while I was at Eastfield, helping me with work or just having someone to talk to. Um, I'd also like to thank the teachers in the early college program, as well as the uh, professors at Eastfield. Uh, without them, I wouldn't be here at this moment of my life, graduating with a Associates of Science. Mamá, te quisiera dar las gracias por todo lo que has hecho por mí. Has sido alguien en quien puedo confiar y sobre todo eres quien me motiva aunque a veces no creo en mí misma. Te doy gracias a Dios por darme una madre como tú y quiero que sepas que eres la razón por mi éxito. Gracias por tu apoyo y sacrificios. Eres mi inspiración para seguir luchando por mis sueños. Más que nada, gracias por siempre dejarme expresar quién soy y ser mí misma y con mis propios sueños aunque sean diferentes. Todo lo que haces por mis hermanos y yo siempre será reconocido y valorado. Todo lo que he realizado te lo debo a ti. Me has ayudado a alcanzar mis metas y de ti aprendí que en esta vida el esfuerzo es lo más importante para conseguir lo que queremos. Eres el centro de nuestro hogar y de nuestros corazones. Hemos visto cómo trabajas sin descansar para darnos todo lo que no tuviste y más. Por siempre asegurar que no nos falte nada. Eres una madre ejemplar y te quiero mucho. I am to have parents like you in my life. Thank you for the wisdom and love you have given me over the years. Thank you for teaching me to be a God-fearing woman. From your loving daughter, Charmaine. My mom and my dad for pushing me every time they motivated me and pushed me to achieve my desires. Without them, I would definitely have been a completely different person. Although I'm not saying much, I'm sending you my deepest thank you and also a prayer who believed in me. Les quiero agradecer a mis padres por haber hecho todo lo posible para que yo llegara hasta donde estoy ahora. Gracias a ustedes, yo me estoy graduando dos veces y 
ustedes siempre han, han hecho todo lo posible para cada vez que yo necesitaba algo. Por ejemplo, cuando yo iba a la primaria, ustedes me ayudaban a hacer la tarea. Y a veces hasta me daban las respuestas. Pero cuando llegué a la secundaria y después a la preparatoria, toda la tarea era en inglés. Pero ustedes no podían ayudarme porque no sabían inglés. Pero hacían todo lo necesario para que yo entregara mis tareas a tiempo. Me llevaban a comprar útiles o me llevaban a la casa de mis primas para que me ayudaran a terminar la tarea. Cuando me tenía que quedar hasta tarde para terminar la tarea, ninguno de los dos se iba a dormir hasta que yo terminara. Eso me ayudaba mucho a que entregara todo mi trabajo a tiempo, porque si no lo entregaba a tiempo, yo hubiera podido reprobar, pero gracias a ustedes eso no pasó. Yo les agradezco mucho um, que me hayan ayudado todo este tiempo y que me hayan hecho reír y enojar todos los días. Los voy a extrañar mucho ahora que me vaya a la universidad, pero con suerte los voy a ver cada fin de semana. Los quiero y gracias de todo corazón. Gracias, Amá, por todo el apoyo que me has dado en mi vida. Siempre me has dicho que en el estudio está el éxito. Me has motivado en tener buenos grados y que me importara la escuela. Yo he logrado todo esto gracias a ti, porque sé que te costó mucho llegar a este país y para mí no era una opción al desaprovechar tus sacrificios. Yo sé que te ha costado mucho trabajo y ha sido difícil criar a todos nosotros por esa razón no voy a dejar que tus sacrificios se hayan hecho para nada. No te puedo pagar por darme la vida porque no hay una cantidad que pueda pagar por eso. Pero yo sí te podré regalar una vida hermosa donde no le falte nada. Yo me, hará, me haré cargo de ti porque es lo mínimo que, que puedo hacer. Gracias por todo y siempre te tra trataré de hacerte orgullosa de mí. Te quiero. Queridos padres, les quiero agradecer por siempre estar a mi lado cuando más los necesitaba. Gracias mamá por quedarte despierta cuando tenía mucha tarea para poder cuidarme hasta que acababa. Gracias por hacerme sentir como podía llorar o respirar. Por todos los días que quería renunciar a todo y por decirme que estaba, orgull que estaba orgullosa que por lo menos llegué a este punto. Gracias papá por siempre echarme los ánimos y porque cuando sentía que no podía siempre fuiste mi fan número uno. Gracias por siempre que me decías que pod yo podía y que, la, que lo intentara otra vez. Gracias por los dos porque sin ustedes yo no estuviera donde estoy ahorita. Yo le quiero agradecer a mi mamá y mi papá por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Toda mi vida me han apoyado y siempre se aseguran que yo y mis hermanos tengamos la mejor vida. Ellos me han dicho que voy a hacer cosas extraordinarias en el futuro. La confianza y el amor que me enseñan todos los días me da fuerza y fe que puedo lograr ser exitosa. Mi mamá y mi papá son guerreros que nunca se dan por vencidos y por eso un día deseo ser como ellos. Los amo mamá y papá. Gracias por todo su esfuerzo y todo el amor que me dan todos los días. Primero que nada, quiero darle las gracias a Dios por haberme permitido llegar hasta donde estoy. También quiero darte las gracias a ti, mami, porque a pesar de las dificultades, siempre buscaste darme la mejor educación. Siempre creíste en mí cuando yo no creía en mí por escucharme y guiarme a lo largo de estos años, por siempre apoyarme en todo y no dejarme rendir cuando sentía que ya no podía más, por los consejos que siempre me has dado y por ponerme los pies en la tierra que gracias a eso soy quien soy. Ahora estoy a punto de graduarme y todos mis esfuerzos y logros te los debo a ti ya que sin la ayuda que me brindaste no lo hubiera logrado. Créeme que todo el apoyo, esfuerzo y los sacrificios que hiciste no serán en vano y te lo recompensaré algún día. 
lo que más he deseado a lo largo de este camino es enorgullecerte y espero que lo esté haciendo bien. Te amo, mami. Hoy en este día tan especial les quiero dar las gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí y por mis hermanos. Muchas gracias papá y mamá por darme lo mejor. Ustedes vinieron sin nada y no lo han dado todo. Muchas gracias por apoyarme en todo. Siempre han estado conmigo en las buenas y en las malas. Me dan consejos y me dan lo, que, eh, lo más importante que es su apoyo. Ustedes me han enseñado a no rendirme nunca y que siga luchando por mis sueños que se harán realidad. Gracias a sus esfuerzos y sacrificios... Estoy aquí hoy y soy la persona que soy ahora. Estos dos logros son el comienzo de un camino lleno de éxitos para mí y para ustedes. Le doy gracias a Dios por tener unos papás como ustedes. Los quiero mucho y agradezco todos sus esfuerzos y sacrificios. Todos estos logros que he cumplido son para ustedes y con ustedes los comparto. Muchas gracias. First of all, I would like to thank God because he is the one that gives me strength and the one that lets me wake up every morning. I would also like to thank my parents because even though they didn't know much of the work that I was assigned to, they would try to help me in any way they could. I would also like to thank my sister because she was the one to take me to school and she was the one to pick me up because my parents would work. I would also like to thank my friends, Heather, Didi, and Elena because And any problem that I had, they would help me in my work. I would also like to thank my boyfriend for supporting me and for staying up late at night with me, helping me on my assignments. I want to thank Ms. Smith for always making sure that me and my classes would be prepared in her class with any assignments or deadlines we needed to meet. You are so fun to hang around with, and you are the best teacher I have had so far. From the two years I have been your student, I am truly going to miss you as my teacher. Time went by fast this year, and I probably won't be able to see you for the last time because of this pandemic. I am grateful for you making sure I will have everything I need for the university I will be attending and helping me when you may have been busy doing other things. Even though this year will be the last time seeing you, I am sure I will still be contacting you regarding anything that has to do with school. I am also happy you will get the chance to become a counselor like Counselor Smith. I know this is something you have dreamt of and now it is finally coming true. I hope the best for you in your new job and for more blessings to come your way. Sincerely, Diana. I would like to thank my three best friends for helping me be the person I am today. I have only known them for two years, but they have already helped me so much. They have helped me overcome the hardest things in my life. They might not know this yet, but they have made me the person I am today. First off, Ms. Lentes Carrera has helped me stay focused on all of my schoolwork, and she has made me laugh every day, even on my worst days. As for Ms. Bellona, she has helped me open up about myself more than anyone else I know. She has helped show my real personality. Last but not least, World Explorer. I have known you the longest, and I want to thank you for making fun of me countless times and keeping me humble throughout these years. Overall, each one of you has contributed to my success in your own unique way. I am so happy to have met all of you. I couldn't have asked for a better group of best friends than each one of you. I can't wait for all of us to face college together next fall and keep on making wonderful memories in our future. Thank you so much for being there for me. Sincerely, Arlene. Hoy quiero darle gracias a Dios y a mi mamá por absolutamente todo lo que han hecho por mis hermanos y por mí. Este año que pasó, sabes que nuestra vida cambió por completo, pero a pesar de todo eso y de lo difícil que puede ser, siempre me has motivado a dar lo mejor de mí en todo. Se ha llegado el día y hoy por fin me voy a graduar y obtendré mis dos diplomas, que es el del colegio y el de la prepa. Todo esto que logré hoy fue gracias a ti, porque sin tu apoyo nada de esto sería posible. Así que estos dos diplomas van dedicados para ti. Y esto es solo el comienzo de una nueva etapa. Voy para adelante y en un futuro ser una gran maestra o una odontóloga. Chao. Voy a dedicarle el tiempo por ingraciarles la mía enseñante, la señora Willis, por haberme ayudado a superar las tradiciones. Me ha enseñado historia durante mi último año y aunque se no son más estatus bravos de la historia. Era siempre de cuando había bisogno de ayudar con su labor. 
especialmente con tu coquití de BBQ. Si prendeva siempre el tiempo de verlo por ayudarme con todo lo de que había visto para asegurarme de superar las lesiones. Ancora una vuelta voglio ringraziar a la señora Willis por ser esta una gran enseñante. Yeah, Willis. Now in English. Hello. I want to take this time to thank my teacher, Ms. Willis, for helping me pass her class. She taught me history in my junior year, and although I was never good in history, she was always there when I needed help with her work, especially with those DBQ assignments. She always took her time out of her day to help me out with anything I needed to make sure that I passed her class. Oh, Once again, boy. I want to thank you, Ms. Willis, for being a great teacher. I want to thank Ms. B. Smith for helping me get through these past two years. You have always been there when I needed help and you have done so much for me. You have been that person who always pushes me forward to do my best. You are one of the reasons why I'm here today graduating twice. I know that I didn't always give my all, but you were the one who helped me get through. I know you will be leaving the Samuel Early College program to go to your dream job as a counselor and I wish you the very best. Again, thank you for everything. Hello, my name is Lupita, and today I want to thank everyone who has helped me get to where I am today. But specifically, I want to thank Kimberly Smith, who hasn't just helped me, but has helped many other students along the way. She is someone that is might she might not always be a hundred percent okay, but she is always giving a hundred percent of herself to help us, and that is something that I find admiring in her. Because she has not just helped me with my academics, but she helped me embrace the persona that I am. She helped me value myself as a person and change myself from that little shy girl who was scared to be who she was into someone that is unique and loves the fact that she is unique. Um, of course, Ms. Smith does care about us passing our grades passing her classes, um, but she has a bigger role than that. Ms. Smith keeps in contact with students. She checks up on us to see that it's not just our report cards that are okay, but also our mind. Thanks to her, I learned to keep a smile on my face. And when people say that what we need is power and money to change the world, I think of Ms. Smith. Because what the world needs is leaders like her who are wise, kind, and caring. The world needs more of Miss Smith. Thank you, Miss Smith. I love you. This is my gratitude video for the early college staff and administration. I am extremely grateful for everything that the Early College Administration and staff has done for all of us. They have been beside us since the very beginning and they have always supported us throughout our journey. Their belief in us has given me hope for a better future and I have found an appreciation for academics because of them. I am very thankful to have been a part of the Early College program because I enjoyed being around everyone. Before arriving at Eastfield, I wasn't very fond of school because it just felt like nonstop work. But that all changed because of our teachers and, administ and administrators. For the first time in my academic career, I felt connected with those who've educated us because they all took their time to ensure our success and have shown us that they truly care about us. No matter what hardships we may have experienced, they were always there to provide an open ear and valuable advice. So to the early college staff and administration, I give my heartfelt gratitude and thank you for being there for us. Esto es para mi héroe, médica, amiga, chef, Uber y psicóloga. Esto es para ti, mamá. Te quiero dar las gracias por todo el esfuerzo, paciencia, amor y apoyo que me has brindado. Te agradezco todas tus desveladas a mi lado y todos los caldos que me has cocinado cuando estaba enferma. También ese abrazo que siempre estaba ahí cuando más lo necesitaba. Pero sobre todo te agradezco que siempre has apoyado mis sueños y mi educación. Espero y le oro a Dios que te otorgue muchos años más de vida para poder darte todo lo que tu corazón desee, porque te lo mereces, eso y mucho más. Te amo y gracias, mamá.
I would like to thank my mom because she has been the one who has supported me in my school and pushing me to stay in school. She inspired me to stay motivated and not give up on my school. She enrolled me in the early college program, which was really beneficial. I love her for all the support that she has shown and made me the person that I am today. Jocelyn, you have been there helping me since elementary school, helping me with homework and even with my own personal problems. There has been times where I didn't need anyone's help, but you were still there. Even when you were in college, you still tried your best to help me. You have helped me emotionally, mentally, and physically as well. And that is what makes you a good older sister. Even though we want to kill each other at times, I know that I can always count on you whenever I need your help. And I want to thank you for everything you have done. So, thank you. Dear Ms. Smith, thank you for helping me throughout my entire early college year, years. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, helping me, striving, and pushing me to do the best I can do and be the best I can be. You were more than just a person at school as much as, as much time as I spent with you in your office, you became a friend. Someone I know that would help put up with my antics and other stuff just so I could get my associate's degree in science and from there become a zoologist. Without you in my corner fighting my laziness, I would have been sent back junior year. But you kept nudging and pushed me in the right direction. Even senior year, I got my own office in N109, but that didn't stop you from questioning my every move that I made. So I was to make sure I was successful. Thank you, Miss Smith. I messed up again. I want to say thank you to my friends, my family, and many of my teachers for being a continuous source of support for me throughout my schooling experience. I've experienced lots of support from those who care about me, and I'm very grateful for that. I could not be where I am today without my awesome friends, loving family, and encouraging teachers. Many people have really helped me through my high school, college, and life. But one person I really want to thank is my mother. My mother has been the backbone through, long, through this long and hard journey. Going through high school and college is not, it's not easy. It's not an easy process. It can be very stressful. I felt at points that I wanted to give up. And every time those thoughts have gone through my head, my mother's always been there to support me. I'm always, I will always be in debt from, to my mother for helping me. And I do this for her. Thank you. I cannot just want thank one person for my success for being here. So many people have helped me. No matter how big or small they helped me, they still did. So the people I would like to thank is Miss Smith, Miss Buford, Miss Ingrid. Ms. Smith, the counselor, Ms. Devine, Ms. Willis, even though they're not with us and they're doing better things. My classmates, my girlfriend, and my family. Without all these people, I would not have been in the position I am now. All these people have helped me through the good and bad, and I may not even ask them for help, but they did. So these people are my inspiration and never give up because if I give up, I'm just saying I don't care about them helping me. So I cannot give up for them and for me. All these people I deeply care about, and they care about me. Sincerely, Matthew. This is my Samuel thank you video, and it's dedicated to uh, my mom. So I just wanted to thank you for always being in my life, and um, for always being there for me when I needed you the most. Um, you're definitely the strongest woman I know. And just to have an amazing person like you to look up to or to even encourage me is amazing. I completely don't deserve you. I genuinely don't deserve anything you do for me. You go above and beyond for me. And I just, I just wanted to let you know that I'm grateful for that and that you've made me the person that I am today. Um, you've definitely showed me that I'm bigger than the demons that I'm fighting. 
and um, that's something that I will always take on even after college that's something that I will need for life and I just wanted to let you know that that's always gonna be something in my mind um, I hope that one day I can be half the woman you are today and I hope that one day I can honor all your sacrifices you've made especially during the hard times I know I know that um, it wasn't easy taking care of me, Belinda, and Laura, but um, we all thank you for just being there for us and for being the best mom ever. So yeah, that was it. Was it too short? Ah, it's not too short. I want to thank you for saving me. I don't think I would even be here if you hadn't come into my life. Having you has been one of the blessings in this roller coaster of highs and lows. Knowing that I have you in my corner has given me hope and happiness I have never known before. I always knew when, that when I needed you, you would be there. You are no longer my best friend but my sister. Thank you for making me laugh on the darkest days and making me glad I never gave up. Thank you for being there and loving me when I couldn't. I love you. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to anybody watching this. Thank you, Miss Smith, for providing me and the class of 2020 with the skills you have provided for us. Unfortunately, for the events of COVID-19, we cannot thank you in person. So we all thank you as in a video. Um, with the skills that you provided me, I was actually able to buy a new car. You the Civic right here. Thank you. Very, very good. Very eco-friendly. You know, save up on gas. You know how gas is right now? It's pretty cheap. It's nice. It's good. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Get out of my car. I need, I need to go to an interview. Come on. Come on, man. Did you? Hello. Thank you, Ms. Smith, for everything that you've provided. Uh, the class of 2020 salutes you, and good luck on everything else. Goodbye. I am beyond grateful for everything you do. You are the most important person in my life. There is not a single day that goes by without me thinking about you. Thank you for always making and taking time to listen to me. Thank you for understanding my side of each story. Thank you for looking out for me when I believe I am doing just fine. You are the only person I can confess anything to. Remember when I lost one of my best friends? She is the only friend I've ever lost and I felt like I was to blame for everything. I felt unworthy and miserable. It has been one of the worst situations I have experienced. Thank you for being the only person by my side during those difficult times. Thank you for crying with me throughout many nights. Thank you so much for helping me understand that it is a part of growing up. I know you sacrificed your career and your lifestyle to come to America because you wanted me to have all the opportunities you didn't have. Thank you for drawing all the tears of anger, stress, and sadness from my cheeks when you had the chance. I know we only speak on the phone and that we are hundreds of miles apart. I want you to know that I feel like you are the closest person to my heart. I will always do the best that I can to make you proud and to never let you down. Thank you for being such a humble person and for teaching me to be that way as well. You are the perfect father and I am lucky to be your daughter. I love you, Dad. I wrote this gratitude letter for my mom. Thank you, mom, for everything that you have done for me. You have been there for me since the beginning. Without you, I wouldn't even exist, literally. You have cared for me and raised me since I was a baby. You have had to deal with me and my siblings' dumb little shenanigans, and yet you never stop loving and caring for us. You have taught me a lot of important lessons. As I was growing up, you have shown me how, with hard work and determination, one can achieve whatever they want to. 
When times were bad, you never stopped supporting us and making sure we had everything we needed. You made sure we had an awesome childhood. I am grateful that you are my mother. And no amount of thank yous will ever seem to suffice as to how grateful I am. Thank you for being my mom. Thank you for having raised me and for having helped me get to where I am today. Thanks to you, I will be graduating twice. Me dijeron que solo podía escoger una persona con la que estuviera agradecida. Pero ¿cómo es posible hacer eso cuando tengo dos padres que lo han dado todo por mí? Ustedes partieron hacia un lugar desconocido, sin nada, dejando a su familia en México atrás para que yo pudiera tener una mejor oportunidad que la que ustedes tuvieron, para que yo no tuviera que sufrir lo que ustedes tuvieron que sufrir. No duden ni por un segundo que todos los esfuerzos y sacrificios que han hecho por mí valdrán la pena. Todo lo que hago es en nombre suyo para que vean que el sudor de sus fuertes no fue en vano. Mami, te agradezco las noches que pasaste en vela cuidándome cuando me, cuando me enfermaba y rezándole a Dios que no fuera nada serio. Papi, te agradezco los largos días que pasabas bajo el sol para poder darnos de comer. Los dos en mi corazón son las personas más maravillosas del mundo y le agradezco a Dios por haberme premiado a mí de toda la gente del mundo por tenerlos como mis padres. Estoy orgullosa de ser su hija. Dear Mrs. Smith, thank you for being my teacher this past two years. You have such an amazing personality. You have the patience to work with students and always pushing us to do our best. And I want to thank Mrs. K. Smith and Mrs. Buford for always getting on me, getting on me and pushing me to do my best. And, to deal, and, to, and still to this point, they still push me. And I want to just thank these three beautiful ladies for their hard work and commitment to students for us to success. Dear K. Smith, I want to express my gratitude for everything you did for us. Specifically, I want to give thanks to you for helping me reschedule my classes and making sure I graduate on time when I went through surgery. Because of your help, I am now able to graduate with the rest of my class. Thanks for all the counseling and advice you've given me. What you tell me will not go to waste. I want to say thank you to someone really special to me. You have been there for me throughout these past few years and I, and I could not be more grateful to have you in my life. Anytime that I'm not feeling my best or I have a different look on my face, you notice. I love how we both helped each other out when we know we're gonna fail a class or we need help with something we don't understand. You would make sure I would not miss too much school and the days I would, you would you always told me what I missed and needed to do. You inspired me and pushed me to do better. I love you with all my heart. I'm always going to be there for you whenever. I want to say thank you for being there for me and thank you for supporting me no matter what. I wish you the best anywhere you are in the future. You give me honest advice and make my days better. Respect and loyalty always went both way for us. You will always be a rare, lifelong friend to me. I love you forever. Thank you, Lucia Bonsa. I would like to thank you, Mom, for always supporting me and encouraging me to try new things. There are times where I did not believe in myself at all and you always believed in me. I would not have challenged myself to try new things if it weren't for you. I would also like to thank you for helping me become the best version of myself that I could possibly be. I'm so grateful to have such a supportive mother like you in my life and I will always look up to you. You've been there for me in those moments when I felt overwhelmed or stressed. I've always felt like I can turn to you when things get really difficult. I owe much of my success to you and I hope that I can continue to make you proud. Dear Miss B. Smith, I want to thank you for all the support and kind of kindness that you have showed me. I remember when I first came to Eastwood and immediately lost all hope. I thought I was going to fall and go back to Samuel as I repeatedly stated every once in a while throughout my first year at Eastfield. 
and you did your best to help me. You always answered all my questions, regardless if they were relevant or just pointless. You always helped me when I had trouble with my class and always cheered me on, which really helped me change from someone who was giving up since the early beginning to someone who tried his best and was determined to help those who were struggling, even if it was from something simple. You also always pushed me to try my best on everything that I do, which not only helped me think about what I want to become in the future, but also to think about who I am and what I want to do with my life. You're, you're such an amazing teacher, and I'm really glad I stayed in the early college program, because it not only gave me a head start on further achieving my educational goals, but also changed me from someone who did not believe he could achieve much. This is all thanks to the ECHS staff and mainly you who helped me open my eyes to the road ahead of me. Thank you so much, Miss Smith. That's really Oscar. I want to thank my mom the most important person in my life and the person I look up to. Even though I don't show it a lot, you mean the world to me. I genuinely wouldn't know what to do without you. You have pushed me to be my best throughout all these years. You were there to pick me up when I fell down. You were like our shield to protect us from all the bad things in the world. There are many things that we had went through that if it wasn't for you, I don't know if I would have been here today. You saved my life and you saved me. Every time that someone had asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? The first thing that would come to my mind was, I wanted to be like my mom. She's smart and kind and knows when to stand up for herself. And I hope that one day I will be able to be as strong and as patient as her. Everything I do, I do for my mom and to make her proud. You're such an inspiration and thank you for everything that you do. I love you, mom. I'm gonna get this over with quickly. Um, I'm not entirely sure who to thank specifically. I'm not one to give long speeches, so I like to keep this short. So instead, I like to thank everyone, as cheesy as that might be. All the early college staff was really great, and I enjoyed all the time I got to spend with them in their classes. They were always really helpful, and they definitely played a giant role in my success. It's cool. In regards to college, uh, I don't think I had a single professor who wasn't great. Some were better than others, of course, but, you know, it's just the small stuff. In general, they were always great. My mom is also someone I'd like to thank. Uh, she always she was always there for me. And lastly, I'd like to thank all my friends, as they are the people that made this journey interesting and worthwhile. Dear mom, I want to thank you for everything. You've been there for me since the beginning. I try to think of my favorite memory with you, but we have so many and they're all so good. You've always been someone very special, someone to look up to, respect, and love. It's wonderful knowing someone is there for me. Mom, I just want to thank you for keeping me on my toes. You are always there to make sure my A game is on point. Thanks for teaching me to be my very own unique self. You surround me with love and bright possibilities. You've shown unconditional love to me, and I can't thank you enough. Love, your baby girl, Elena. Primero que todo, le quiero dar gracias a Dios por permitirme llegar hasta aquí. En segundo, a mis padres por apoyarme y siempre estar conmigo en las buenas y en las malas. En tercero, a mis maestros, mis consejeras. Muchas gracias por todo. Gracias. Thank you very much, Mom. I will never be able to repay you for what you have done for me. No matter what, you've always been there for me. My highest points and lowest points, you've always been by my side. This is one of many things we did not expect to happen. If I'm being completely honest, I did not expect to graduate, nonetheless go to college. It is all a dream come true. You've taken care of me ever since I came out the womb. Now it is my turn to take care of you because the clock is ticking the other way around. There is going to be a point where I'm going to... I'm going to have to take care of you just how you take care of me. 
I don't know what the future may hold, Mom, but the only thing I know is that I will always be there for you, no matter what. There are still many things that I plan on doing. This is just the beginning of my life. There is going to be a point in my life where you will get to see me be reborn, but the only difference is it will not call you Mom, but Grandma. I want to have a big family and be the father that I never had growing up. I could have not done any of this without you. Thank you very much, Mom. To my family and all the people who have supported me throughout the years of my high school. Thank you for everything and the continued support. Thanks for providing the necessary materials I need and for always going the extra mile. To my mom and dad, thank you for the sacrifices you have made for me and my sister. To my close friends, thanks for the motivation and the support I needed for some days. To my counselor and to all the teachers and Ms. Smith, thank you for pushing me to do better and for having patience with me. Uh, thank you for all these years and although it has been a very vigorous path, I'm glad I and I appreciate everyone and I am thankful for and I'm thankful for making it this far. Thank you. Querida mamá, quiero agradecerte por todo lo que has hecho por mí y por mis hermanos. Aun cuando mi papá se fue, tú nunca dejaste de esforzarte para seguir adelante y que pudiéramos seguir estudiando. Nunca dejaste de creer en mí y en apoyarme, aun cuando estuviera con mis caprichos y dejara de hablarte. Quiero agradecerte por siempre ser de lo mejor, aunque yo fuera de lo peor contigo. Te amo y todo lo que he logrado es gracias a ti. Para mi padre y madre, gracias por ofrecerme un mejor futuro en este país y les prometo que todas esas lágrimas que han llorado por culpa mía o canas que les hayan salido serán recompensadas con el sueño que ustedes vinieron buscando a este país. Los amo muchísimo a los dos y esto lo hago por ustedes. Hey mom, we had had a rocky road in our relationship. A lot of ups and downs, mostly downs, but I still remember when I was in third grade when my English teacher used to leave me a lot of homework and you would stay up with me and help me out until I finished. I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful to have someone like you in my life. You help me out no matter what, even if sometimes not even I had the willpower to stay and fight my own fights. I love and care for you, Mom. Thanks for always being there, Te amo. I would like to thank my best friend Jarvis for always being there for me when I needed him the most and for all the reassurance and late night phone calls and for always believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. And I would also like to thank, thank the staff from my sophomore year of high school after witnessing the murder of my brother. They were there for me once I got back to school, being understanding. And yeah, in junior year, I would like to thank K Smith, and all the other staff for helping me after coping with the loss of my father. I would also like to thank my friends, Elena, Heather, and Zuri for, you know, just being my girls throughout high school and for always being there for me. You know, keeping a smile on my face, just having company to talk to. I would also like to thank my mom for, you know, putting a place, a roof over my head, putting food on the table, you know, just, just being a mom, and for my little siblings, to my babies, for believing in me and for looking up to me, and I try to be the best role model I can to them, and they're my motivation. And so, yeah, just thank everybody. If you're a part of my life, on good terms or bad terms, you made me the person I am today. So I want to thank everybody, and thank you. I don't have many words because the only person I have to thank for me to be here is Miss Buford uh, for keeping on with me on my grades and just to keep me in check. If she weren't for her, I would have just failed the whole class. So thank you. Boots, you want to say anything? No? Okay.
I want to say thank you to my mom who has supported me throughout my entire life. You have always been there for me when I needed you. You always gave me the best advice when I needed it, and I want to thank you for that. You and my dad always put in the most work to get me to where I needed to be. And you have been through so much in your life, and you're still strong to this day. You even pushed me to be my best even when I didn't feel like doing the work. You you gave me the support I needed through all of our car rides, even if they started to get annoying. You are my motivation to complete early college high school. It will be my motivation to be successful in any career I choose, and I thank you for that. I thank you for being the best mom I could ask for, and I hope I could repay you for everything you've done for me. I love you. I would like to thank my mother, Ms. Buford, and Counselor Smith for supporting me. Thank you. Mom, thank you. The past four years have somehow been the craziest yet best four years of my life. And because you have always been so supportive and so understanding, you are probably one of the only people on this earth that will understand why. I've been working so hard to build the foundation for the rest of my life. I've been striving to become my own person and become the man you know today. But you know this. You know this because you've been there by my side for every step of the way. Every headache that was had, every tear that was shed, every mo morning that I didn't want to get out of bed, every night that I had a screen to my face, you were there for it all. Each and every time I fell and didn't want to get back up, you were there to pick me up, put me on my feet, and tell me this will all be worth it in the end. And while some of my achievements haven't quite sunk in yet, you have shown how over the moon and ecstatic you are that this chapter is almost done and there is only one walk left to be done. And while I may not be able to make that walk physically, I can guarantee that I will have two diplomas to show for it. Thank you for being there even though you've had struggles of your own and being there when I completed the first, the final steps of my graduation. While the world is going through a hard time and as family, we've had our own set of struggles like anyone else. You have somehow seen through all of that and managed to help me prevail and accomplish what you've always wanted for me. And now here we are onto the next chapter of my life. And I'm so glad you're here for the ride. I am achieving two diplomas for you, mom. I'm going to college and pursuing a career for the both of us, like you've always dreamed. I love you so much, mom. I want to thank my mother for helping me get to where I am today. She was my biggest motivation to graduate and she helped me to never give up. I know I made her proud. This one's for you, mom. I want to thank everyone that was around me, my close friends, my teachers, my counselors, my advisors. I'm very grateful to have you all and help me be successful. First off, I want to thank my best friend, Emily. I want to thank you for being my first friend in high school. Also for staying with me for the past four years. I want to thank you for being there for me, even though I don't really show my emotions, but thank you, best friend. And I'll always be there for you too. I also want to thank both of my hardworking parents and my brother. I want to thank my dad for always working hard and being able to provide everything for me and my younger brother. I also want to thank my mom for always being supportive for my decisions in life. I also want to thank my younger brother for being annoying and being, being by my side during my ups and downs. I want to thank my family for being my family. I am very grateful for everything. Gracias, Ama y Apa, por todo lo que me han dado y por eso le eché ganas a mis estudios para poder repagar todo. Yo sé que ustedes están felices 
por todos mis logros en la escuela. Pero todos mis logros eran para hacerlos felices a ustedes. Los quiero mucho con todo mi corazón. Hello guys, it's me, Brian Vargas, the favorite person of 2020. You know, I was the most hated on, but the most loved person, you know. Class wasn't, wouldn't, would have never been the same without me. Everybody knew when I was in the, everybody knew if I was, if I wasn't in the school, everybody knew I wasn't there. I just had to say that. Shout out to Miss Smith. She knows I'm her favorite student. I love Miss Smith. She's my favorite teacher. No cap. For real, for real. I had to give her a few, huge shout out for always helping me out. Always, always, I guess, you know, staying, you know, kind of controlled, you know, stabilized because I know I got in her last nerve. But, you know, I'm pretty sure she loved that, you know, class wouldn't be the same without Brian or the other Brian. You know, it's just a Brian thing. We, we annoy the class. But, you know, I'm making this video to say thank you to all my family. All my friends, my close friends, you know, the students that graduated last year, the students that are going to graduate next year, the students that are graduating with me, you know, it was a rough four years, but the best ride, you know. Thankfully, we got our two diplomas, and I'm saying we because we all made it. I think so. I think we all did. Hopefully, we did. You know. You know, this is crazy because I wanted to drop out twice, but I ended up getting the diploma twice. Those veces, those veces. And, you know, I want to shout out my mom. I want to shout out my mom for always being there, you know. You know, some parents are there, but they're not actually there. But my mom was there physically and spiritually and, like, mentally. Like, she would get in my head, you know. She'd be like, Brian, did you do this? Like, she wouldn't even tell me, but, like, me knowing I have a mom would be, like, I have to do my homework. <laughs> I want to give a shout-out to my little brother. I love this dude. Only brother I have. And thank God I had him. You know, this 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 dude is crazy. Like, the stuff he does at school, I'm like, man. Man, I really had to become a cop before he chooses the wrong path. But, you know, that's my crazy little brother. I love him, you know. I wouldn't be me without him. He's like my other half. And then my dad, you know. I love you, dad. I know we're not like really close. And I don't say it, but I love you, man. I really do. I love you a lot. Even though sometimes you're not there, but you're there. I know you try to be. And I mean, you don't have to apologize because I know what's going on. I know what me and you have. And then I just have to shout out my mom again because like, that's the best mom. You know, the only mom I have, my first love, you know. I remember when I was a little kid, I'll be like, Mom, when I, mar when I grow up, I'm going to marry you. Man, my mom's so beautiful. I love her so much. Always kept me off the streets, even though they tempted me so many times, so many times. But, you know, she made it happen. This diploma is yours, Mom. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be, like talking right now you know who knows what would have happened you know i'll probably be a high school dropout nothing really probably like a few kids just a few though maybe you might have a grandson right now but that's not to be said you're probably asking where i'm at right now to be honest you're like where's brian but like don't worry mom i'll get home like at four there's a girl in the back of the car now i'm just playing <laughs> but anyways you know, 2020 was a rough start, you know, and what can we say? We're the only ones in control of that. We can only make it better. And, you know, we have to work for what we want, you know. Two more years, I'll get that that bachelor's degree, but we'll be celebrating in two more years. And I'm going to just stop talking right now because at this point I'm just stuttering and I have nothing to say at this point, but I love you guys. 2020, or I'm going to do it. I don't know, but 2020, what's up?
See ya. I want to thank my mom for always being there for me. Thank you for teaching me to not give up and to keep giving my best. Thank you, mom, for supporting me and helping me in my decisions. You have helped me in a thousand ways. You have taught me to follow my dreams and not to stop when an obstacle crosses my path. Your supports and advice have helped me make de important decisions that will change my life for the better. Thank you for everything you have given me and offered me. I am grateful that you have always been by my side on this long journey. Without your help, I would not have achieved what I have achieved so far. I love you very much. And I love and I want to thank you for always helping me and supporting me even in my crazy decisions that I have made. I am more than grateful to have a mother like you. Soy San Juana Villegas y yo quiero agradecerle a mi mamá y a mi papá por todo lo que han hecho por mí, por sus sacrificios, su cariño, su amor y toda la atención que me han dado. Si no fuesen por ellos, yo no estuviese en el lugar que estoy ahorita. Gracias por ayudarme durante todas las noches que me desvelaba para hacer la tarea y por nunca dejar que me diera por vencida. Estas dos graduaciones no son solamente para mí, sino para ustedes dos también porque siempre me apoyaban y me ayudaban a mejorarme. Gracias por sus consejos y su cariño. Los amo. Okay, I made a letter to all the people I wanted to thank for everything this school year and through high school and this is my letter. I want to thank the many people who have guided me through these long four years of high school and college. These lovely people include my friends, one of them to mention, are the ones that I spent time with in every class. They made me laugh, sometimes made teacher frustrated, but we enjoyed all those years of working together. Also, um, I want to thank my teachers, Ms. Smith, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Buford, also the um, the best front front office staff, Miss Ingrid, who always knows how to say good morning every time you walk through that door. Not to forget my mom. All these people, people including my teachers like Mr. Dawn, Ms. Devine, Ms. Lewis, everyone. Thank you, and I miss you all. I would like <laughs> I would like to thank a lot of people, but the special thank you is for my counselor, Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith, thank you for being an amazing person and counselor as well. You're the best counselor I have ever had and the only one I've ever bonded with. Thanks for always pushing all of us to do our best inside and outside of school thanks for always making me feel comfortable and welcome in your office um and for also listening to all my gossip and um just know i'll get you a hard-working sancho anytime soon as soon as the as the pandemic ends and also thank you so much for always caring about my future you're always suggesting careers for me related to what i want you are the very best, and I am looking forward to going back to visit you the next year in Illinois.